Okay, so here's the construction um, area. And I'm just going to lay out my first part. Um, this is a control module that I made. It looks just like a floorboard, but until I think of another idea for it, I'm just going to keep it this way. Um, you will notice that you uh, it has huge nodes. Um, I heard somewhere on the boards that that will help increase the strength of the node connection. Honestly, I don't know. They still fall apart, but I think it's helped a little bit, so I'm going to keep them. Um, the other parts that I've made for the boat are the left and right high sides, so we can put those on like this if you want. And they go on like that. So that basically makes the flat part of the top of the hull and the walls of the of the side of the of the boat. Um, then you can go further down. I made these pieces which which kind of have a little bit of a slant on them and the foam core in the middle there, the the styrofoam to help float it. Um, now the problem with the nodes is um, you're gonna connect all these. Now this one connects this one connects to this one. This one connects to this one, this one connects to this one, this one connects to this one. As soon as you place one that it has to connect to two, it doesn't connect to two. It only connects to the to one of these two. So that's the problem. If you put a whole ton of weight on top of here and test this test this shape, it's going to break at one of these seams here. Either this seam or this seam will actually split and lift off. So I hope they can fix this, that you know, that part of the game uh, and make that stronger. Make these uh, automatically, you know, link to all surrounding nodes somehow. If they can't do that, maybe they can implement some kind of auto strutting thing where it makes an internal strut um, because that's just crazy. It just, uh, you know, if you're doing a complex design with custom parts and you're not going just for rocket design, you're trying to design other things in the game, it really makes them weak and uh, a design is a design flaw. So we can have that there, and that that's a cross section of one piece of hull. So that's our boat hull right there. That's pretty cool. We can make as many layers as we want, really, of the boat. Um, we could have a multi, multi, multi layered boat if we wanted to. Um, just to show you, because I wanted to make these pieces as uh, versatile as possible. Now, the first piece, piece we laid down here, that was the control module piece, but in the actual structural category, there's a regular. Um, floor section as well, so you don't have to have a whole bunch of command module. I made a du duplicate of it that isn't a command module, so as you can see, this thing is shaping up to be like the Titanic or something. It's huge. So when you, the more weight you add, the deeper this will sit in the water, and I think that might actually be better. I think if we could get the weight so high that it would be sitting around this level, layer level here where it's mostly square, and get this um, rounded area below the waterline, it may be a lot more stable um, go, uh, moving forward. Uh, I think if this uh, curved area here is on the actual water line, it creates a lot of slapping and, and disturbances when you're traveling over the water. So I just wanted to show you those parts. Um, there's a lot of versatility. Uh, the new, the new bow, uh, the first bow section I made is a knot for a nine meter wide, which is what this is. Each one of these sections is being three by three meters generally. So this bow section here will connect to a, th a three by three. Um, I will be making a bigger bow section for a 5, which uh, will be for the Poseidon because I like that boat the best and I really wanted to make a custom bow piece for it. But I'm going to keep the bow piece relatively uh, square and not go for this kind of high angular kind of bow plane that I did, a uh, uh, bow piece that I did uh, for this one. So this is kind of cool. I wanted to implement, uh, I wanted to get uh, some kind of a ramp maybe that we can, you can put in places like a 45 degree angle ramp. So if you have vehicles stored up on different levels, you can drive them down and through. So that would be pretty cool. Um, I'd really love to get something like an elevator that kind of goes on the side and goes all the way down to like ground level or water level or whatever the case may be. So you could get Kerbals and their vehicles down and off and onto the land or onto the water or whatever. Um, but I, I'm having problems. I mean, I've come a long way in the modeling, but I'm not at the stage where I can actually do animations and stuff yet. And uh, it comes down to the coding. Um, I would have to really brush up on coding, and uh, I just don't have the time for it right now. So uh, I don't know if someone else wanted to make an elevator. I would do all the models and stuff for sure. So uh, just let me know if that's the case. But uh, I think. I've 
I've come a long way in a short period of time with uh, these models. I think I did a pretty good job on the curvature of this thing. Like you can see, there's a lot of curves in here. It's not too, o it's not overly complex, but I got it perfectly symmetrical, which I was having a hard time doing last week. But this week, I, I cracked that nut, and uh, <laughs> it's pretty cool. So, yeah, you can connect these any which way you want. Um, you can even connect this in here, so you can make like a mid-level. Um, I would like a couple intermediate pieces, like corner pieces and like 45 degree corner pieces and stuff. Um, they might come in the future. I'm just going to hold on to what I have here for now and uh, see um, how well it's received by people. You know, it, it does make huge ships. It's ridiculous. You can make, you can use some of these lighter foam filled pieces to make actual spacecraft. I, I, I didn't make them for that purpose, so uh, if you have problems, you know, using them for that, uh, don't, uh, you know, get mad at me or anything like that. Just uh, let me know. Um, these here, you can see that the nodes are all offset to the right. I gotta fix all those. That's I just got to open up the CFG file and fix those and center it like I did with the other ones. Uh, I just noticed that. But anyways, what you can do, what I suggest you do is um, take this, like take take a take a line, like what I'm doing here, and just put, make your hull one direction. This will make this piece here solid. So all these pieces will be connected to each other in a solid chunk. They're not gonna they're not gonna deviate from one another easily. They're not gonna split and fall apart. Um, and then what you can do is do the same thing along the left and the right hand side and they will probably stay together as well and then at the end well, all the way along just stitch it with a bunch of struts um, what I've done was I've created my own infinite dice super strut that basically has f like 15,000 strength and 15,000 sheer strength which I think is equivalent to uh, Nova Punch's um, improved strength strut you can use that one and it should give you the same performance um, but I'm not I'm not gonna release this yet I'm just gonna hold on to it for a bit unless people really want it but I'm just gonna try to get some of the kinks worked out of it and try to get a couple more parts made for it and then I'm probably gonna release it with uh, some of the pre-built vehicle vehicles that I've made um, but I hope you guys think it's pretty cool I think it's kinda neat because it allows you to do uh, my goal was to make um, long-range rescue craft or long-range bases where you could they, they're mobile bases where you could actually you know park this thing on the other side of the planet I think the only problem is uh, you can't get this thing to the other side of the planet unless you want to actually pilot the thing real-time all the way to the other side of the planet and it's just a nightmare but I think it's kinda cool for people who like boats um, and you could use these for a space going vehicle but again the shape is not spacely <laughs> and the uh um you know the the size of the chunks are they're just immense they're 3 by 3 some of them actually have like you can see the 3 by 3 dimension there but this actually a little chunk here to make it more for the, uh, you know better shape for the water this is a massive 9 meter by 9 meter by you know wedge shaped chunk and it's it's huge but uh, in any case hope you guys like it and enjoy <laughs> 